Let me tell you about Robert Frito Seven, an artist from Asheville, North Carolina. This is one of his crowns. I think he was the first one to make a crown for me. He's the most innovative uh, folk artist I know. When I first met him, he was making things out of forks and spoons, and we used to call him the Spoon Man, but he said, the Spoon Man's too limiting. He made a, a sculptural piece, flattened forks and spoons, welded them together, and it's really like modern sculpture. It's so beautiful. But when he made this crown for me, I was going to be in Atlanta on business. And so I said, why don't you come to my hotel? I'll be finished by noon and we can have lunch together. I'll treat. So when I got to the hotel, it was a beautiful marble lobby and everything. And uh, the desk person said, Mr. Adams, the strange man over there is here looking for you. You want me to call security? Because he had the crown hat on and he had pieces of fried chicken and biscuits stuck all over it. He said, I'm here for lunch. You know, so uh, he was scaring the attendant. But folk art and folk artists scare a lot of people. But this is a, a good crown. And then, uh, then he made me one out of tips of uh, neckties. And then uh, we'll show you a chair that he made out of neckties. It's so comfortable. My neighbor was throwing away this rocking chair that was falling apart and Robert asked him for it. He took it away and wove these neckties, you know, to make a wonderful rocking chair. And then he went through what I call his uh, yardstick <laughs> period. And then he made these, he even put the numbers and stuff on them. And he even came up with a theme that said, you can't beat our meat. And then let me just show you one more thing while I'm here. But I think this is such a prime example of what folk art is all about. Robert can make something out of anything you give him. This is the lid of a quart jar. And the other side, he made a face thing to hang on the wall. Little bead, key. Uh, I don't even know what these are, but these are wonderful. And he made a group of them, sold them right away, but then he didn't want to make them anymore. So he gets bored very quickly. He makes these concrete pieces now, and they're just made out of pieces of whatever. But this is a compass, bottle caps, a piece of a yardstick, and a piece of a scrapple set. He made a scrapple board, uh, and he made all the pieces, made the board, it, with this wooden table and you can turn it when it's your turn and he made all the little pieces of scrap. Well, this is another example of Robert Seven's work. Uh, he painted this mask and uh, made this face for me because he thought it looked better than my face did. So I often wear this when I go to town, but uh, this is just made from a basket that Chinese people use to strain stuff with. Yeah, and then perfectly good mask. Very clever, very clever. Mm -hmm.